the notebooks out. Um, and I'm going to make sure I uh, stop in time so y'all can take your Sunday school test. Amen. So for those of you that were praying that I would run over, <laughs> your prayer is not, is unanswered. Scoop your prayer off the floor. <laughs> Sunday school teacher is very sick. Give her a hand. She's very serious about her class. Oh. Superintendent, very yes, serious. Amen. And the people that flunked the test couldn't even clap. Can't clap. Okay. Um, uh, write this down. Uh, this is a very important year, very important year. In the Hebrew, this is the year 5775, 5775, okay, 5775. Uh, and the importance, Nathan, of this year is that it is surrounded. It begins with grace, five, and it ends with grace. Five, seven, seven, five, and the two sevens are enclosed by grace. The two sevens. Beautiful. Are enclosed by grace. Um. And so it is a year that is called the Shemata, S-H-E-M-I-T-T-A-H, Shemata, I believe that's how you, okay, so it's a very important year. Um, It is a year which some of y'all, I'm going to get a hand clap out of this. It is a year where supernaturally debts are canceled. Amen. See, I told you. <laughs> Somebody's income tax didn't cover their debt. Right. Uh, here's where I won't get a hand. It's also the year where you cancel people's debts. All right, amen. See, Dominique, they just clap louder because, okay. Get Deuteronomy chapter 15. Shemata. Mm -hmm. So if you see, when you see the two sevens, then that means that the favor, uh, you'll have twin favors. Wow. Double favors. Okay. Mm, thank you. Double Jesus. favors. Deuteronomy chapter 15, look at verse 1 and 2. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth all unto his neighbor shall release it. Okay. He that good news? It's great news. All right. Read. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother because it is called the Lord's release. Okay. It's called the Lord's release. All right. Now, this began, write these dates down. Um, there was so much support yesterday for... Uh, Cager's uh, book signing, and you'll be happy to know that as soon as uh, Tamika's billboard goes down, his will go up. Oh! Amen. Oh. Woo! Amen. So, I think we own that billboard. That's it, Bishop. Amen. Uh, so it starts at now. Starts, it started September 25th, 2014, okay? 
but do not despair. It will run through September the 13th, 2015. And I did spell it right, S-H-E-M-I-T-T-A-H. Okay, so it ran from September 25th, 2014 through September 13th, 2015. Shimata. It waives all outstanding debts. Amen. So you might want to write some things down and believe God. Okay? Yes, Lord. Okay. Now here's where the uh, the favor comes in. Uh, you don't have to concentrate. Back then, Michelle, they did a they had a break from farming where literally uh, people could come and just your field, people come in your field and just take stuff, all right? Um, that's how blessed you were. Uh, and they were so blessed where people could come and take whatever the crops they had because that was your chance to focus on spiritual things. So when person has focused on their spiritual ascent. Some of y'all have, and like every group, some have, some haven't. Uh, if, if you look at uh, even the data collecting of Jeff and Tamika, uh, it is spiritual in content where she's literally going back over her Tuesday notes, amen, and fulfilling that stuff that was taught. Isn't that beautiful? It's spiritual. Um, uh, and so in this by having a so by having a, a data collection journal uh, you're helping someone else who also wants a relationship that has a spiritual foundation amen so uh, and to the point where Tuesday you know it's, it's just like her Sunday school class I'm sure she'll tell you where if, if you're not serious. I think she's going to tell you, don't even come to her class. And same thing on Tuesday, you know, started talking about the seven bridges, even though I've never had a bridge. But we're talking about the bridges. But if you're not serious about Tuesday, that, that would be a good rest day. Good stay home, you know. Um, <laughs> and that way you clear the atmosphere for people who want to learn. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, people who... You know, people think I'm picking on them and all that. Stay home. Amen. Amen. Just just do you. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and really and truly even Bible class, because what happens is, you know, my, my inbox phone blows up with oh, the very stuff I've already said. Okay. So this is not Dalla Pastor or, you know, so that's just my take. If you don't. And there's some people I'm going to suggest that they stay home on Tuesday because they can't retain any of it. Where someone like a Tamika or someone, they're serious. They want to know the seven bridge. They want to know this stuff. Uh, if, if, if they do open their mouth, is they open their mouth about what happened in class. <laughs> uh, not some other crazy stuff, okay? So, and same thing about our Sunday school. How many of y'all enjoy learning? Amen. Woo! Uh, because this is, this, is your, this is your chance. Yeah, yeah. well. Don't worry, I'm going to sit down. Uh, this is your chance of a spiritual ascent, all right, where you, you climb up, which means that, think about this. If you have a field that yields so much, it doesn't matter what people take. What does that tell you about your field? Okay? And so people that are building relationships on a spiritual, don't worry about God taking care of you. Right. Um, don't worry That's a thing right. about God taking care That's of you. Right. Uh, That's uh, right. Matter of fact, those of you that believe God, now you just heard, well, the debt you have won't even be there. So, uh, and, and, and he has all kind of ways. Thank you, Jesus. you say, Thank why? You, Jesus. Why? It gets down to that because um, you, sh you shouldn't waste your time. Uh, you shouldn't waste your time. You shouldn't waste your time. You shouldn't waste the time of the teacher. You shouldn't just show up for appearances when you can't uh, regurgitate it back, okay? Because it won't do you any good. Uh, remember, in the word of God, it's only what you can pull up 
in a crisis. And, 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 and some of these young women and young men, they want bridges. They, they, they want relationships where they can cross over. They don't want someone having to isolate themselves because I can't cross over that bridge with you. It'll fall apart. You understand? So if people take this stuff to heart. You, you never can tell when, when, when uh, look, look at Tony came. Tony came. Tony begats Jeff. We have Darnell. We have men. We have Lavelle. We have men <laughs> who, who are really serious about their family. Okay? So you, you have to clear the air for pretenders. If, yeah. if, if you can't, now everybody does not have the capacity. Not, it's not the capacity. Some people don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. Okay, then you shouldn't block those who do. Okay, what's going to happen is, you know, your flavor, somebody going to show up and then you're going to try to do a crash course <laughs> on relationships. And it'll be too late. Right. Okay, a crash course. Uh, and, and, and also, uh, that's what makes you apt to teach is the fact that you've been taught. My, my key thing is if you can't follow, you can't lead, right? All right? So here's this, because I'm going to write it down. Y'all think, man, y'all need to find out what y'all got on this test, okay? Uh, get Genesis. Chapter 12. all kind of blessings coming this year. We look for the year of blessing. So we have, we have, the first one of course is always Abram. Start at verse 1. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. I'll make of thee, the singular, a great nation, read. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. Thy and name thou, great, okay, read. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee. So everyone who blesses you, see some. Some, some people who are serious about the word, they keep blessings flowing, okay? Because they end up blessing another Abraham. Amen. So God says, well, I have to bless you because you blessed Abraham. All right, read. I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. This is where people mess up. So in this year, the people who cursed you will be cursed. Right this year, yep. so, they, so it, you know, yeah, they by the who cursed you, they'll be cursed if you are Abraham. Okay, um, and the further study of that in Hebrew is even if people thought about blessing you but weren't able, they get blessed. Wow, see, so so that eliminates you coming to church to get a eye to eyewitness or a, to get a front row seat for the downfall of Abraham. You can't do it. Abraham is going to be blessed. Amen. Abraham is going to be blessed. If, if, if there is an, a, a, an Abrahamic blessing behind Tamika's book, behind Cage's book, it will soar. Now watch this now. A book can sit on the shelf for 10 years, all of a sudden, you know, dropping somebody's heart, and then now they want to do a movie on it. Huh? A book, a book, I'm, I have to go to, you guys are sending me to Tokyo next month. Amen. Not a jet. Look Amen. at the break you got. Amen. Amen. Look at the break. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm buying commercial. How y'all like that? Uh, so if I have a copy of each book, to so say the book doesn't take off in the States, but the book soars in Japan. That's right. All right. Uh, so, I mean, there's all kind of ways for Abraham to be blessed. Now, let me show you something. Look at verse 4. So, Abram departed 
as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Okay, he's seventy-five years old, right? I don't think anyone in this church is seventy-five. Jump over to chapter thirteen. Look what happens. First verse. Verse one. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife. So I was talking with um, um, Tamika, who just refuses to be anything but principal. Uh, I'm tired of hearing her name. Well, change your name to Tamika, and you can hear your name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got, I got an answer. Change your name to Tamika. Be talking about me. Um, and we, we went over, she refused to be anything but principal. Uh, we went over the place plan, uh, place plan and provision, and we looked at, we backtracked. That's why you're going to do a journal, because we backtracked over all the elements that try to change your place. Okay? Because if we change your place, Gabby, there's no plan for you. That's right. And if there's no plan for no you, provision. there's no provision for you. Exactly. You are simply existing in the dark. And so we looked at all the different things, Darnell, that came at them and, and the other people where the enemy had spent a whole year trying to create gum under the table, but it never existed, okay? Different things, all right? Um, and, it's, and it's good to be, um, to have introspection without oversight. So I was talking to me, and I said, now, my daughter, Michelle, she might have too much introspection where the devil tries to take it, and he twists it to uh, self-doubt, okay? Some of y'all have no introspection. Uh, so if I could cut a piece of Michelle off and put it in you, <laughs> you're done. None. No introspection, okay? It's always for someone else. It's their word. It's, okay. And which, therefore, no one can build a bridge with you because no one can cross over. All right. It cannot take heavy trucks. Okay. Uh, with, with, with introspection, introspection says that can it take not the weight of a motorcycle or a moped or someone walking across, but can it take military trucks, a convoy, huh? That's who trying to get Kenny and Trey in La La Land, a convoy of problems. Not a moped <laughs> problem, <laughs> huh? You never heard any civil engineer say a series of mopeds caused this bridge to be damaged. Okay. But heavy trucks, constant traffic over that bridge in San Francisco. It yeah. and even though it's sturdy, it's concrete, it wears its it it wears down the infrastructure. Yeah. Okay. Over time. So people who come on to the series, they're building something that will last over time. It will outlast the teacher. That makes sense. Okay. So Abram's in the right place. There's a plan. It just so happened it not, did not take two chapters for the plan to bless him. Uh, the plan. The plan. I was talking to um, uh, Tony and Sheena. She's going through that early stage of pregnancy. And so, you know, they're you know, both trying to get on their feet. Uh, hers from a prior marriage, you know, getting on his feet, and, you know, it's amazing. He's only been in church a year. That's just amazing. Um, so then now she's pregnant. So that's what you get for switching around housekeeping. Things like that happen. And so now they have to make an adjustment. So uh, I said, so something that they might have been planning for a year, uh, God said, I'll expedite it because I want that presence in the earth. Uh, 
So God has a right to alter the plan, your plan. It's always been his plan, okay? Place, plan, provision. So look at Abram, verse 2. And Abram was very rich in cattle. What? Shut your mouth. He wasn't rich when he left. Ugh. Mm-mm. I love saying that. Mm-mm. I know it's er in your Bible, but it's <laughs> ugh. Yeah. Read that again. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Okay, and no one can change that. And with the seed of Abraham, and people talk about a prosperity gospel, anything can be tainted with, or can become tainted, or tampered with. But you can't change this. All right. Read it again. I'm going to show you something. Read that verse again. And Abram. And he's not even Abraham yet. He becomes rich as Abram. <laughs> so start, just the fact he was obedient brought him something. He's not even Abraham yet. He's Abram. Okay. Place, plan, provision. Okay. I know y'all just do not want Pastor Linda up. Uh, and then, let, let, you know, some of the things I'm working with, I'm, I'm looking on the, the extension of agape love. And so uh, I'm filtering out, Pastor Linda, the people who can't hear you or avoid your class, they had no business talking to me. You know, I'm not no dollar pastor where you get access to me, but you can't hear who I put in authority. That's why I don't have voicemail. I, I choose and pick what calls I answer. Hallelujah. I'm just so happy today. Amen. I mean, it's, it's, it gets down. You know why you do? You say, why do you do this? Be, because we have so many talented people. We have so many entrepreneurs. We have so many people flowing up. We got books coming. We got everything that, that we have to get ready. We have to get people ready for kingdom where they'll be spread out. So why can't we enjoy the people that love each other now before we... Look at Patrick and the Buko. I got to go to Japan. Okay. How many of you are honored that we have a church in Japan? They just... just, it just uh, English school. Huh? How many of y'all are, you know... Ooh, don't lie. How many of you are, are, are glad to be a part of... Like we pay their rent every month. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all are serious? Amen. Amen. I'm serious about my Tokyo thing. Uh, Me and a few other people, we haven't missed. Okay? Because that's kingdom. When we say kingdom, we ain't talking about grace apostolic at 2260. Are you kidding? We're talking about around the world. And so the people that that have agape love, which the Bible says, if you don't have it, God said, your gifts are nothing. Nothing. Don't, don't, Don't fool yourself. Okay? then these people are going to um, compose a community of faith that's going to have to stand as Satan gets stronger. He's, he's becoming, and you know, he's strong through the media. He's strong. And this is just off, you know, there's a, uh, here's what we're going up against, Courtney, your beautiful daughters and what Simona does and all you that are serious about parenting. There is a group of society that society deems disposable. Disposable. That's why I talked to my son about getting out of the military. Disposable. You're disposable because you do not have generational wealth. You're disposable because uh, mm, your, 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 your life consists of, what, what's this, this one about to say, maybe at the max a 401k and a good insurance plan. Okay, and so, but if we break out in war, your children will die. Okay, and I did a study of the, of the wealthy families in World War One and Two, where, where uh, that those two families funded the wars. So I'm like, that's why they're they're not. If you go to Europe, they're not. What would you call 900 acres that no one lives on? Compounds were never damaged in the war because they were funding. And so even a Hitler knew not to bomb that. 
<laughs> I mean, you got to just do real, real world history. You can't do real world history without studying the international banking families who never know what they were. Okay, one story they told where Arnold Schwarzenegger and Warren Buffett landed a private helicopter on somebody's 15,000 acres. Uh, and they describe Warren Buffett, who Forbes magazine says the second richest man, the third richest man. They, they, the, the article said he is small potatoes. His billions, if he can count it, he's not in our league. We, we, we manipulate all the future markets. We go silver. We have no, we're, so there are trillionaire families. And so, uh, and I'm going somewhere with this. And, and, my, and so my point is that when you in the kingdom and you're functioning with a kingdom mandate, Cager and his sons are not disposable. They are powerful because they have a God. Am I making sense? Without God, you're disposable. Your 401k, your insurance plan, nothing means anything. Your children, uh, you got to have the ability to pull them out of the uh, disciplinarian oriented OPS and put them in a private. Uh, and so, so, so uh, a Crystal Simpson is like a white elephant. Where did she come from? How dare you make that kind of money? And and, and try to tell somebody disposable that their child has value. Whoa. Whoa. Disposable, okay. The argument was the girl, the, the brawl in McDonald's, where I got this word from, the, the brawl in McDonald's where five disposable people jumped on another disposable soul. And, you know, even the disposable soul that was stomped and, and rendered unconscious got on Facebook and said, I'm famous now. Jeez. I mean, you, you're talking about a sick generation. She's famous after getting stomped and kicked up under some, uh, somebody's uh, uh, Mc, uh, uh, fries or Big Mac. She's on the floor, not motionless, and she gets on there and says, I'm famous now. They knew, so they, they arrest a 16-year-old girl. Her name is Anaya Ferguson. And so they're talking about she, she, she done jumped on her grandmother, she beat her grandmother. She stabbed her brother. You know, she, she's just, she's 16. She has a child. She's just, so they say, you know, we'll just send her to prison for her good 2020 so she can run into some other disposable people like Diablo who will wipe the floor with her and in processing. She in processes on Rikers. Somebody just, just, this is what that little girl felt like. Okay, so she'll get no props in prison for being five on one. Oh, man. So, so they use the word disposable, okay? So the other people wrote letters and said, she's disposable. So we throw away for 20, 25 years. Her child grows up. No mama. You know, here we go, the anger, the hurt. And, and so we see people come to grace, and they look at me. They try to stare me down for the first 15 minutes. But you're not mad at me. You're mad because somebody did not invest in you, love you enough to shape you, uh, and, and, and even if you have skills, they never taught you ownership. So you max out of the 401 or insurance policy. And the kids that stare at me don't even have that. So they talk about this girl is disposable. I said, what a cruel word. Disposable is worse than ignorant. Because all you got to do is read and you won't be ignorant no more. But when they say you're disposable, it means that I don't even care what you read. There, there's no, you'll never make a lasting imprint in the earth. Somebody thank God for a word. I am not disposable. I am kingdom. Uh, and if I marry the right person and build bridges, I'm a force, amen. And the kids out of that union become a force, amen. See, no one is expecting you to birth individuals with ownership on their mind. Rent, buy here, pay here, little dad but do you. Somebody thank God for the Abrahamic covenant that's over their life. Place, plan, provision, which equals legacy. Now you see why Tuesday should be a selective class. Okay? These are people that say, no, I'm not disposable. I won't be birthing any 
uh, Ariana Ferguson's. Uh, because they're not going to fight in the McDonald's that I own. There's 100 people there watching five on one. <laughs> if they would have killed the little girl, well, that's one less bell to answer. We'll throw her away. Huh? And so the, 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 the church is supposed to teach you through the word of God, through relationships, huh? so that, so, so that uh, uh, Alicia Skye will never work for anyone else. She'll do the books of her mother's business, huh? Where LaBelle is only at the post office temporarily until he gets enough rental properties to where he don't have to walk. Now, if he wanted to deliver mail to his own apartment complex, that's his Bobby Brown prerogative bit. Want to make sure they get the bill. That'd be slick, wouldn't it? Why are you still working? No, I got to make sure my apartment complex, here's their invoice. Okay, get Genesis 26. Oh, so let me make sure. I'm, oh, oh, the people are like, keep going, keep going. Oh, no, I'm going to stop right here. 26 and 1. Go on, get that F on that test. And there was a famine in the land. Famine in the land. Read. Beside the first famine. That Besides was, the first famine. Read. That was in the days of Abraham. Yes. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. Read. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. I'm, I'm going to make a political statement which is going to mess you. No, no. read. No. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee. So here's God talking to him. Okay. Famine. Now, you go where I tell you to go. Okay. See, see, see the bridge? The bridge that you can cross over? Yes. Everybody's suffering. Famine. Okay. Look at the stock market. Now they're talking about an all-time high. The people who control the stock market aren't watching it. <laughs> they don't, it's hard to even put your mind around uh, uh, where Roman, these people don't need money anymore. They don't think about money. They don't walk around with money. We're in my office and we're talking about these crazy cars, uh, uh, the Zonda, is it Pagani? Zonda and all these kind of cars. And so I was telling him, I said, that level of wealth, like Prince Charles, when William got married, he let him drive his Aston Martin, which might be three in the world. So he doesn't want the Zonda, okay? He doesn't want the... Bugatti Veyron. He don't want those cars. He wants the French Talbot 1937 where there's one of, okay? So even, even in their toys, they distinguish between we've always had money and you just got some. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's, 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 it's all my stuff. So you can't, they don't think about money. Never. Their children's, 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 children's education is paid for. They're, they don't even think, and they don't even give them options. Okay. So it's all power. It's never money. It's power. I mean, and it's an interesting study. Uh, and the, the closest I ever got to, first of all, it was so hard to get the book, Who Owns the World? So when I gave a copy to Bishop Bismarck, I said, you check the book out. He said the book made him very angry. He said some of it he knew as far as uh, the, the, the wealth around the world and who owns. Like uh, there's somewhere, I forget, in Spain, one of those families where there's no document who says they own it, but they've been there since the 14th century. 
they own it. Yeah, they do. There's no document. Mm -hmm. None. They just made sure each one of them stayed in charge. So you can't challenge it, okay? She said the book made him very angry. Uh, my friend in Montreal who cussed me out because I wouldn't borrow $75,000, like, like F-bomb me out. Like, you mean you needed 75, you didn't come to me? No, I'm not that guy. He said, a uh, million dollars one way or another today wouldn't change my lifestyle. Like, if someone gave him a million, he would, it wouldn't change a oh, million dollars. Then he showed me the people in Montreal. We walked down Rue Catherine. He showed me this old Jewish family. He said, see them right there? We walked down the street, you know. He's, if if F-bombs were the Holy Ghost, he'd be filled. <laughs> this is what he talks, you know. Not really. It's like some of you. No, no. <laughs> so he's walking down the street. He says, see that song right there? See that old Jewish family? So you see somebody with a white shirt, pants that don't fit. He said, they own so blankety blank. They own from here down to that corner. He said, you see all this? They own. Those people would be considered nothing. Just some people who, first of all, if you own it in Montreal, the queen owns it because she owns Canada. Okay? So you go down there and you try to buy uh, uh, something in, on London in Knightsbridge. You try to buy it. And they say, sure, we'll give the Haynes family a, a lease, a let. We'll give you 900, is it 99 years or 99 years? 99 years. Come year 100, the Haynes got to go. You're not going to have the vision that we have. <laughs> Our vision is a thousand year vision. We'll give you 99. And it goes back to us. Somebody thank God for word. Hey, I know you're bored because that's a part of being, that's part of the disposable where anything other than a nine to five puts you, makes you sleepy because you need your rest to punch that clock in the morning. <laughs> That's crap. I mean, it's all by design. You just don't even know. <laughs> you just, okay? Or someone else is flying to Monaco. They do what they want to do, okay? So he tells this man, Isaac, you go to this place. Look what happens. Because you're not disposable. Did I lose you? Next verse. Sojourn in the land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. Okay, one of my daughters just hit me, yes, they don't want a Zana, they want the French Talbot 1937. Looks like art, okay? They don't want that new car, okay? Drop down to verse 12 before y'all get your test back. <laughs> then Isaac. Happened. So Isaac, what, Isaac did it. Look what happened. Then Isaac sowed in that land. He sowed into the land that eliminated him ever being disposable. He sowed into the land because it yet all belongs to God. So here's where the tree and their families are tricked. God still own it all. All right. Uh, all right. And so when you do a study of them, TQ, they still die. Right. <laughs> Even though right now the people over Google, uh, what's my other boy, Larry Ellison, they're having scientists work around the clock to extend their life. They're trying to look at, man, I wish my, they're trying to look at the, it's all sales. That's why we get old, sales, okay? So they're trying to look at what happens is the caps, remember I'm not, I'm ignorant when it comes to stuff, this is just from, the caps come off, this part of these cells, and, this, and when the caps come off, that's the aging process, okay? So now, this is simplified. So now they're trying to, to they're doing tests to artificially alter the caps so that they don't come off. This ain't, 
they not trying to extend the life of the disposables. They're trying to you know, extend the life of the people who they think can keep the world order intact. So here's where you come in through the wisdom of God. Uh, God, they, they are so full of themselves that they have dismissed the prophecies of revelation. Okay? So, so here's, here's, where, here's where you have them if you are part of the body. God already said he declared the end from the beginning. Yes, sir. But since they don't believe that, amen, then they continue, huh? Uh, because God does not execute judgment against the evil work speedily. Men continue. So they're pumping billions of dollars, which they couldn't make the school system uniform all over the world, where it doesn't matter where you would go in Austria or on Ames Street, you would have the highest order of math, science, and they ain't trying to do that. Are you hearing me? Yes. They want you shooting and stabbing and right. wearing Durant's right. Right. And, and Jordan's, amen, yes. and because you're disposable, huh? We want you marrying anybody. We want you having your babies. We're going build, we to build, build up small towns off the back of your children. But Isaac, not my children, not my back. I believe God. So he souls in that year. To be continued, every head bow. You need to get your test back.